maybe the client they just switch everything around. You get what I mean? Like innovate is pay two mana to gain zero. Arcanine every heal uh, every damage spell heals instead. Oh, that would be fun. Blizzard, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> that would be really fun. Why do you wish torture upon all of us? Uh huh. Um, yeah. So Ku's still available for both of these players, and I was actually pretty surprised that no, neither of them chose to Ku. The others drew a deck. Mm -hmm. So where where does uh, where does Trump go from here? Do you think do you think he oh. just queues up his Paladin deck and is fine with it, or? Well, remember the last series, uh, Trump actually played the Paladin versus Druid out, so he might feel pretty comfortable with the matchup. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Now the problem with that though is if he chooses to play that and Orange is paying attention, Orange has the availability to just coup the Paladin. Ooh, that would be diff that would be something, huh? I don't. Oh, I yeah. actually, I actually really don't know what I'd queue up with here. I don't know which one of these is the second best matchup versus Druid. I have no idea. Mech Mage against Druid. Eh, it's okay. It's kind of like a zoo deck, right? But you, but Trump is running the more, um, the more high, uh, curve, uh, Mech, Mech Mage uh, compared to most lists. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see. But it is going to be the Paladin as we predicted, and Orange here has a chance to coup. Well, Trump also has a chance to coup if he doesn't want to play this matchup anymore. But Black Knight, uh. Well, not really too useful against the um, double combo Druid because usually the Druid of Claws are going to charge your face anyways. So is Trump going to coup? Orange has confirmed. And Trump, if it's consistent of last time, he's going to play them out. Oh, he does play them wow, out. Wow, and Trump's going to play this one out too. Yep, yep. It's consistent with his uh, last time. Last time he just played this matchup. Pretty decent opening hand for both these players. Mm -hmm. Nothing like nothing amazing, but nothing nothing terrible. Definitely not. Uh, Shield of Minibar gonna come down, or the hero part is gonna come down. I think Shield of Minibar is just a little bit better. So, yeah, I like that. Do I would prefer that. Yeah, I would. T I would tend to go with the mini bot here. Usually, the um the question of whether to play the mini bot first is that if you actually don't draw into another creature, you could mini bot into hero power right so like if trump actually whiffs on turn four he wish would, he would have hero power instead uh that's usually what paladins think about when they play stuff like that ops not don't could go with the coin shade and that's really good because if you do then what's your turn three right yep his hand, his hand got really clunky over the last two draws yep with force nature and karen all right, we might see that uh, blunder where Trump has to actually hero power turn four and miss out on the uh, on the share of minibot. So miss out on a little bit of forward with one dude. Swipe is going to be pretty important in this matchup. I gotta believe it's just shade. Oh uh, well, yeah. Trump, Trump needs to draw something here. He needs something like a, like a pilot shredder. Oh wow! Oh, there you go. That is actually really good right now. Very very decent. Wow, I, I'm pretty sure that was just absolutely the best draw on the deck. Uh, it has to be. I mean, I guess you can draw True Silver and just equip it and pass, but you're not developing the board as well. I mean, you can't develop the board in the sense that you're developing a temple uh, with the re so weapon ready, but yeah. you really want the minions. So that's always what it counts. Um, over here at Orange's part, he could play the Shredder, or he could actually coin a 5-drop here because he does have another 5-drop. He can curve pretty well. Uh, but if he decides to Shredder here, he all can also coin a Cairn. And um, Cairn is also pretty hard to deal with with a Paladin if you don't have Silence. Uh, goes with the Coins Patronite instead. Feels like that this turn, he does need to spike something, you know, uh, a little bit stronger than the Shredder. And uh, over Trump's side, another good draw for turn 6. Yeah, Trump's pan out has been really good when you compare it uh, sort of side by side to, to Orange's. Just not a lot going on for him. Hmm. Trump's, Trump's got, got options, choice of, though. Yeah, Trump's got a choice of four, four, uh, five drop and actually shows whether he wants to clear this 4 6. If he wants to clear, he should attack first, but Mana Rift might ruin his day. Oh, it's the scavenging hyena. Oh my gosh, if he'd have gotten a mana right there, that just would have been miserable. Yeah, that, that's some stuff you need to play around, you know? And uh, the other card that can actually screw up the mana curves is the Narubar Reblord. So uh, it's very important to know the list of two drops. 
that come out of the shredder and actually play around that, right? Sure, it's a very small percentage chance, but if it does happen, you need a backup plan. Yep. Uh, God, not what a the tough most spot. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I think you just need to establish the board. So I wouldn't mind seeing a drew of the claw here in top mode. Sure, that's the BG. Uh, but that's to uh Black Knight. But at the same time, if you charge it, then, like, what are you doing? You know. Yep. Is he really considering swipe here? Oh, that feels so bad. No, I think you have to play on curve here. Druid just relies on using every, utilizing every mana crystal and try to like gain a lot of value from the cards. Uh, sure, the Druid of the Claw doesn't really do much here, but at least you're establishing that and then swipe plus us. Maybe a Wrath next time you clear the board, but nope. It's going to be a swipe right away. Uh, the Shade might be able to attack, but no. Well, okay. Uh, that Sky Golem's coming down. Oh yeah, God, I think hard. yeah, this is uh, this is looking pretty rough. So Karen, uh, you know, th he's gonna take a lot of damage from this, but Karen is is actually gonna do a pretty solid job at starting a uh, the recovery state of this game. Mm -hmm. Weirdly enough, Karen against a uh, Sky Golem, Karen actually wins because it is a definite four five, right? The average monster level for a four mana drop is actually around like 3.5, 3.5 or something like that, right? You have a lot of two fives. There's a lot of four threes. So uh, having a four five is just amazing. Of course, we're not factoring the uh, super four drops, which are like shredders, uh, pit lords, uh, you know, those kind of stuff. But yeah, generally speaking, I do like Karen over Sky Golem if they're both going to hit each other. Yeah, Trump needs something. I'm sorry, Orange needs something right here too, because this is it's just so much pressure that he's under right now. Wild Growth is definitely not it. Um, how on earth does he crash through this board? Force of Nature is uh, one of the uh, plays, because the oozes are actually super damn annoying. But then if he's only running one Force of Nature and two Savage Roars, then playing this Force of Nature does hurt a little bit, don't you think? The other thing he's got... He's He's just going to be taking a lot of damage, so he has to figure out how he can actually sway that back in, in his favor. He, you know, he doesn't need to just think about this turn, but how it, you know, the board state is affected next turn and the turn after that. He just he's fallen so far behind in that race that it's just been, he's just getting beat up. <laughs> getting beat up is never a good sign. Uh, it's going to go with Raph for one here. I mean, desperately to find some more answers. Drew the Claw coming in top mode, I believe. But man, um, the Sky Golem is just going to eat the Drew of the Claw alive. Oh my gosh, if he gets a piloted shredder off that. I actually haven't seen that happen yet. Yeah, not me either. That's rare. That's like super rare because it's like something you always remember, and we have not heard anybody talking about it. So yeah, pretty rare such a situation here. Gosh, Trump's also got access to Teary in this turn. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, Say that's huge. Right what is that? What is that call? Did it say? What? <laughs> <laughs> What Amaz just said, and Tyrion's gonna get slammed on the board. Put your faith oh, in the light. No. Orange has got his back against the wall. He's got Force Nature Savage War, but he can't use it yet. And he's got no way to check this Tyrion without taking a ton of damage. Oh, man. That is not good. Wow, this is just absolutely brutal. It is pretty disgusting indeed. Well, um, you can't even play the Lothep and Shredder. You can't even play the Ancient of Lord because what are you doing with the Ancient of Lord anyways? You have to use the Force of Nature to clear this? Oh man, you actually use the Hero Part and... <laughs> Oh my, oh. Well, he, here's the thing. He doesn't take a lot of damage directly to his face, but now he's taking a lot of damage and just his ability to actually end this game. Oh, man. Like, how does he finish this one off? 
<laughs> before he's just I, dead. I, I, I have no idea. Yeah. Um, seems like the, uh, Trump got his uh, value cards and, you know, just extended everything. And Warhol is going to freeze him too. Oh, oh. oh and there's Black. Oh, right on time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Always, right? The Black Knight is always a little bit late. Hmm. Well, Trump just needs to play some cards, and I think it's a win. Certainly going to take his time, though. He's, he's thinking about all the ranges of cards that are going to affect him right now. Sure. Lothab certainly looks like the best option to me, though. Definitely. I think something else he's considering is whether or not he should attack this four or five. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I, uh, I'm guessing the I'm guessing by the fact that he did not attack it before the knife juggler procs that he's just not attacking it at all. Right. Wow. I mean, Trump, he's so he's, yeah. On the aggression, I don't know what orange can draw. It certainly wasn't a second wild growth on turn nine. Nope. That's terrible. Yeah, there is no way he's getting out of this game, and Trump is going to tie this series up at one apiece. That's right. Well, pack it up, Druids. You guys are done. Basically, <laughs> both Druids are gone. Oh, I'm happy about that. <laughs> I can't say I'm ha I'm sad to see that happen. So we go back to the uh, what brackets, actually. We can see uh, what classes Orange has to pick against.